Hi, um, today I want to make a video uh, about the range of my car. Uh, I'm always curious to see how far my car can go. Uh, my car is uh, 2023 um, ID4 Pro rear wheel drive um, and I'm at uh, Electrify America in um, at Anaheim Plaza. In, uh, Orange County, California. And right now, um, it's almost 100%. As you can see, um, I actually started charging when it was at 77%, and it's taking almost 27 minutes. Uh, to charge the 100%, so it does take a while. Um, I uh, I owned this car for about eight months, and this is like the third time I have charged it to uh, 100%. Uh, one of the times I did charge was um, when I did the trip to uh, Las Vegas. But this is just for my curiosity, it's just to see how um, how many miles can I get with 100% on my car and for those who really want to know uh, for themselves also. Come on, it's taking a while, but let me see. Okay, I think my charging has stopped. Um, I'm getting a notification. There you go. So, from my driving habits, uh, it says maybe I can go up to 325 miles, but uh, we will see. Uh, I'm going to set the mode to comfort, okay, and then temperature, I like 70 degrees right now, it's a little bit, it's like fall weather in California, which is not really the weather doesn't really change that much, but uh, 70 degrees is comfortable. Uh, let me see if I can change, reset on the just, uh, since charge. what else do I need to say and then I'm just gonna drive um, pretty much how I normally drive I, I don't drive a lot of freeways so that will probably make it less uh, efficient okay so right now we are starting off 100% And this is the Electrify America stations. Pretty much feel um, today is uh, Friday morning. So I guess everybody's charging up for the weekend. Okay, here we go. This is the starting, everything at zero. There's A here and yeah. very big plaza. Uh, party City, Petco, hello again. Um, the car is at 50% right now. Um, it's, for some reason, it's only go, gone 119 miles. So I guess 119 plus 165, so that comes out to be uh, maybe uh, four. Two eighty four, 
so that would be very good if that's the case so we will see what happens and uh, I just want to tell you that um, I know before I said I only set it to six seventy eight degrees uh, but you know in Southern California it it does get very hot uh, in the afternoon and sometimes when I pick my son up from school he he wants his AC max so uh, that could be um, contributing contributing to the um, the miles per kilowatt hours um, currently from the since the charge I'm averaging 3.7 miles per kilowatt hours so it is actually not too bad um, so let's uh, we'll keep you updated so right now I am at 24% uh, of battery left um, so far it has gone 176 miles and then I still have 72 miles left so if you do the math then it's around 148 uh, mile, miles for the full charge um, I normally drive in uh, B mode and um, so um, currently my uh, miles per kilowatt hours is 3.6 which is uh, I guess not too good but not too bad um, I mostly drive uh, inside streets um, I don't know if that has to do with that uh, and uh, sometimes uh, I would blast my AC full max uh, like after the gym because like in California you know it's actually very hot in the afternoon like 80 something degrees and then when you get out of the gym you know, like sweating and stuff so I usually blast on full full max but um let me see how far it will go down to maybe five percent all right so right now i am down to seven percent uh, on my battery um, the data does not look as good as i want to so at seven percent it's showing uh, i went 216 miles and then 7% I still have 17 miles left so if I calculate that out it should be around 233 miles for full charge um, I was expect I was hoping it would be around 250 but um, so the data right now it shows um, that's kind of weird I average <laughs> My miles per hour is 16, which is very low, I guess. I only drive mostly in inside streets. Um, uh, uh, miles per kilowatt hour is 3.6. Um, and then since I charged, I've gone 14 hours. Um, and then I'm gonna Pulled up to the Electrify America soon to charge because I don't really want to go anything lower right now. I'm down at 7%. Okay, now arriving at my favorite charging place. Um, it's at the Anaheim. Plaza. On Euclid and the Fire Freeway. Uh, let me see. There's quite a few that's open. Let me see. Yeah, but I don't want to have to reverse.
Okay. So again, um, I'm down to 7%. Uh, I've gone uh, 216 miles. Uh, there's still 17 miles left, so that would calculate out to be around 233. So to summarize up my, um, my range test, my car is a 2023 ID4 Pro uh, rear wheel drive with the um, LG battery uh, with maximum charging speed of 135 kilowatt. Um, I drove from 100% down to 7% uh, uh, just normal my da daily normal routine. Uh, I, I drive uh, mostly on B mode and then with comfort zone, uh, comfort driving, I guess. Um, and uh, for the uh, climate control, I just change whatever is comfortable to me. Sometimes I could blast the AC Max because, you know, it is quite hot uh, in this in the afternoon in California. And uh, so that is my, and then I also drive with without lane assist. Um, because I find that a little bit annoying. Uh, so from 100% down to 7%, I was able to go 216 miles. And then with 7% left, there's uh, 17 miles left. So that will add up to be around 233 uh, miles, which is a bit lower than what I hoped for. Um, one surprising fact data that I saw on my car was that my average speed was only 16 miles per hour. So maybe that was, you know, the reason for the low efficiency, but uh, it is what it is. So um, uh, I hope, you know, this helps whoever is curious about their range of their car. I know it, I was really curious about it. That's why I kind of did it to find out for myself. All right, um, thank you for watching.